Welcome everybody. It is Business Monday. We're on Small Biz. It is a beautiful day in downtown Providence on this Monday morning. With me is Christine Smith. Hello. Maybe, maybe the best title, Director of Innovation yep. for Commerce RI. Do, do you get to pick your own title? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Is there a lot of pressure being the director of innovation? It's like every day, you know, the bar gets higher and higher. It does, but you know, I get to work with the best people, the, the brightest people, people who are pushing the limits every day, so it's all worthwhile. Excellent. Uh, you've got a big event. Uh, let's start there. A big, big event. Yep. You've got functionally the entire federal government coming to Rhode Island for an SBIR event, uh, really talking about what the federal government has in funding for innovation uh, across a, a plethora of different resources. Talk yep. a little bit about it. Yep. So what I wanted to do first is deconstruct for the people who don't know what SBIR is, because it's, it's like government, it's alphabet soup. So SBIR stands for Small Business Innovation Research. And these are grants. And these are grants that are administered by the Federal Small Business Administration. Um, everyone thinks of SBA as doing disaster relief, uh, loans. Right. But they also have a program that funds these innovative, breakthrough, exciting new products. And that's what this is all about. So as you said, we do have um, a road tour. We have um, 25 officials, uh, 20 program officers, some people from the U.S. Patent Office, from the SBA themselves, and they're literally on the road in a bus, and they go around the country, and they come to places like Providence um, in Rhode Island, and they talk about their programs. So this is outreach, and it's just all about um, making people aware of this great source of funding. And we're super excited that they're here in Rhode Island, because Rhode Island um, really believes in these grants, and our state provides matching funds. So you get a federal grant, you qualify for a state grant on top of that, just so we can be sure that your product really does get um, out in the market. And how big, just give a ballpark, what, what are the range of grants that are given out? I mean, are these $500 grants or $500,000 grants? A little bit in between. Yeah. So um, the uh, grants range from uh, around $100,000, and they go up to over a million dollars. And the uh, federal government sees themselves as an investor. So like many investors, they do their funding in stages. Right. So in a stage one grant, it's all about proof of concept. If you um, have an interesting product, you'll get somewhere um, around $100,000 to $150,000 to do your proof of concept. If you're successful, then you can move on into phase two. And those grants, you know, depending on the agency, especially Department of Defense grants, can go over a million dollars. And the state matching grants are based on a percentage of those federal grants. So if you um, get a phase one from the federal government, you can get 30% of your grant up to $45,000. Um, phase two, you can get 10% of your grant up to $100,000. Great. And those, again, are grants. 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 And no equity position, no nothing. It's just meet the criterion, do what you promised to do. And exactly. You're and we, we have this program because it is very competitive on the federal level. And so this is a um, validation of sorts. And so we want to make, um, make our companies successful. And they do call it, um, we were talking a little bit, this is America's largest seed fund. Right. Um, so it really does get back to the investing and investing in quality, high potential, really exciting breakthrough products. That's great. And um, what, talk a little bit about the agenda of the day. And, and also, I'm going to put the caveat on that it is now sold out. It, it is, is sold officially out. sold out. Yes, it is. And we just agreed, Go Local just a little bit ago just, uh, agreed that we'll come over in the morning and do this on Facebook Live on the sort of the key hour of it from yep. 9 to 10. So yep. people will be able to watch the key speakers, give presentations, and allow people some of the information and right. access into the application process. So that'll be on Wednesday morning. It's down at the Crown Plaza mm -hmm. down in Warwick. How many people are expected down there? We have 150 people 150. will be there, yeah. including our friends from the federal government. Uh, but um, to your point about the agenda, so the uh, morning part of the program is totally done by um, the SBA. And so what they do is they have um, a good chunk of time. These 20 program officers are going to come forward. They're from um, up to 11 federal agencies, everyone from the um, National Institute of Health to the um, Department of Defense um, to Department of Transportation, uh, 
USDA, um, a whole broad variety of federal agencies interested in, again, a broad variety of topics. They're going to talk about their funding priorities. Um, that's what they're looking to fund, what right. they want to fund, what they need to fund. Um, there will be someone there from the Patent Office talking about intellectual property. Um, there'll be some um, others from the federal government. And then in the afternoon, we flip over to more of a local panel. We're going to have three of our um, companies here in Rhode Island who have won SBI awards talking about their experiences. Who are those? So we have Claire King um, from Propel. We have someone who was just here on um, Go Local With You, Neil um, Fine from Aquinas. Oh, yeah, right. And, um, and then Kelly um, uh, Mandel from McAllen, uh, um, Equidnick Island. Great. And it, a lot of it is tied to manufacturing and defense industry, or does it get more... Uh, varied it's, than that. It's completely across the board. So um, we have a lot in uh, the Department of Defense, um, something like sonar assemblies, um, radar, uh, components in submarines. Uh, but Claire runs a um, textile company, and she's coming up with smarter textiles for uh, soldiers' uniforms. That's great. And Neil, of course, was uh, uh, funded by the Department of Energy, and he's doing um, the device that will uh, increase the efficiency of wind turbine blades. Right. So it really is across the board. But what they all have in common is they really are transformative breakthrough um, technologies and products. And also, um, the good thing about the Department of Defense is it's a, it's a grant, but it's also a contract. And so if um, you're successful in developing the product that's funded by the Department of Defense, they become your purchaser. And so oh, that's, that's great. sole source. That's great. Um, talk a little bit about innovation in Rhode Island. You know, I think we've see, we're seeing a transformation mm -hmm. literally by the second in the American economy across the board. We're seeing retail uh, you know, somewhat c contract, collapse, whatever the term of art you want to use. Evolve. <laughs> Evolve. Uh, you see bird scooters popping up on the streets uh, mm -hmm. without notice. We're in this really rapid period of time of tremendous change. How is, the, how is commerce dealing with this, and what are some of the other programs that you're working on? Sure. So um, I've been at commerce for 12 years now. And I've always had um, the benefit of working with people here. So, you know, I, there's a lot going on, but I really want to stress we've been, people out in our community have been working on innovative products, you know, for a long time. But right now, the difference is, you know, we have programs that can help them. This SBIR matching grant program mm -hmm. is only a few years old. And um, until just three years ago, we didn't have the funding to be able to um, offer those uh, phase two awards. And so we're able to do more for our companies and support them more because they really are out there. Um, you mentioned Neil um, Fine at Aquinas. Uh, Neil also takes, uh, took advantage of something called our voucher program, where if you're in a company and um, you have a gap, um, in Neil's case, he needed some uh, expertise that was available in uh, modeling and measurement that was at Brown University. And like Neil, you find a university partner. We have partners at New England Tech, URI, Brown, RISD. You find a partner at a university, you can apply to Commerce, and we can pr give you a grant, again, up to $50,000 to go out and access that talent. That's and right. new, we also have um, a grant similar. Uh, if you're a manufacturer, not only um, do you have to, or you don't have to only go out and find a partner at a university. If you um, have R&D you're doing in-house, you can apply for that funding just for your own internal R&D. So like I said, we're doing more, I think, to support all the wonderful work that's already been going on for years in our community. What's some of the challenges? Um, uh, there's some money. There's a toolkit now that there wasn't. Yeah. Um, uh, but what are some of the other challenges? The biggest challenge is yeah. making sure everyone knows about these resources. Yeah. And so, um, for, because as you mentioned, for a long time we weren't helping our companies, and now that we have these tools, we want to get the word out. Um, and the best word of mouth comes from our recipients. They talk about it to um, other companies they know. I think that's a huge factor. This is a small business state. People mm -hmm. don't understand how different Rhode Island is from many states around the country. We've had a go local out in Portland, Oregon. Oregon is a big company state, big lumber companies, Intel, uh, Nike, big companies that uh, you know are, are in the 20,000 employee range. In Rhode Island, there's 40,000 small businesses. And even what we consider 
as being large businesses here are really actually uh, ranked by the federal government as small businesses because it's really yes. anything under 500. Right. We think a company that has 100 employees is a big employer in Rhode Island, and in actuality, yeah. it's a tiny little company in, in the national perspective. And most of the companies I work with, most of the recipients that are working in these vouchers, two, and these three, SB, five, yeah, to be above 10, right, is to be an outlier, right. And uh, just to go to the challenges, um, reaching people. You know, are we seeing this? Is a, we're now in a good economy right now, mm -hmm. nationally and in, and in Rhode Island, across New England. Obviously, Boston's economy is, uh, you know, a machine right now. Mm -hmm. um, is the lack of work, you know, I think people are fighting for workers right now, mm -hmm. low, low unemployment, higher educated, very difficult to, to recruit. Mm -hmm. um, is that becoming a factor? And I know there's lots I of job training programs, et cetera. I don't want to necessarily no. get into that, but it, are you seeing that as a burden to some of these smaller companies who are trying to grow? I, I think it's, frankly, I think it's a burden anywhere because if you're a talented um, engineer or you have a skill that's in high demand, you really can go anywhere. Right. And I know um, another program that sort of falls within my um, portfolio, you've had um, our WaveMaker director, yeah. Jill Butler, on. So <laughs> the most frenetic <laughs> guest. We've had 1,600 guests on Go Local. She has to be in the top 1% of yep. high energy. Super high energy. Oh my which God. Which is why she does so well in what she does. And th what we're talking about is a program that provides... Um, uh, forget solar, forget wind. <laughs> Put her on that little squirrel wheel and uh, it will power all of Rhode Island. But it's tax credits <laughs> for student loan debt. Right. So if you're working in Rhode Island and you're in a STEM or design field, um, we can offer you the chance to apply um, to get some tax credits, which you can um, cash in. You don't have to take the tax credit. You can take cash on, on the dollar. Um, and what we're really trying to do is give uh, all this talent that's highly mobile an extra reason to be here in Rhode Island. And actually, most of our recipients love being here, and it just makes it a little bit easier for them to stay here. And um, they get rid of their student loan debt, and they can uh, buy a house, uh, start their own business. We have a couple of wave makers who have that in their, um, in their dreams. So we're happy with that. We were a partner in bringing the uh, blockchain summit into Rhode Island, yep. and you guys were intimately involved in it. And obviously, that's a breakthrough uh, mm -hmm. sphere in both business and technology. Um, one of the things that they're always looking for is talent. Rhode Island Providence DMA is the second worst at retaining the talented young kids that come out of our colleges and university. About 70% of all grads leave the marketplace. Wavemakers is one of the strategies. How else can we make this a better place? So if you're graduating out of engineering at URI or out of computer science at mm -hmm. Brown University, that this becomes the cool place to live. Right. Uh, rather than the great place to go to college right. and then go to New York or Boston or Chicago well, or I, Nashville. By, by helping these, you know, really trying to help companies not who have ideas, right. um, actually put it into a product that they can sell and they can create those jobs here. So I think that's, you know, that's part of our strategy right. in um, all the vouchers, the SBIRs, um, just helping people who have these great ideas turn those ideas into commercial products. That's and right. those commercial products then become companies. Um, if folks uh, obviously cannot attend mm -hmm. the SBIR event and they get to see a little bit of it uh, on Facebook Live um, and they're interested in learning more, what's the way for them to be able to reach out to Commerce and get more information about this? They uh, can just go on to our, um, our Commerce website or call um, our office, 278-9100. They can ask for, for me um, or for Kalina Harrington, who works with me on these programs, or Jill Butler. Um, and any one of us um, can, can give you the specifics. Also, if you're ever out at an event and you meet another commerce colleague, anyone can bring you in and, and get you to the right place so we can talk more about your needs. That's great. I uh, want to thank you so much for coming well, on. Thank you for you the opportunity. You still have the best title going. Um, after this, Stefan's probably going to steal it from you, all right? Or he'll add it to his, what is he, General he's, Isimo? He's Secretary he's of Secretary. Commerce. Secretary. I knew it was some grandiose title it's over there. It's better than director. It's better than director, right? Uh, I want to thank everybody. We're going to be right back in a minute talking about uh, goat's milk, and I'm not exactly sure why, but we will be right back. Christine, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. We'll be right back.